Can you edit 4K footage in Camtasia? Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so you might be asking the question, can you edit 4K footage using Camtasia? The quick answer is yes, it's possible. Okay, so this video right here is of my business partner and it was shot in 4K. If I head over to the media bin and I hover over here, you'll see that the dimensions are 3840 by 2160. That is the dimensions of 4K footage. So that was shot in 4K by our videographer and he hands it over to me and I edit it right here in Camtasia. And if I zoom out, you can see that actually this video is already on YouTube. Now I will say that I do edit 4K footage in Camtasia, but when I'm rendering it, I actually still render it to 1080p and not 4K for multiple reasons. One, the rendering time will be a lot longer if I'm rendering a 4K video. And two, it's gonna take longer to upload. And three, for the style of our video, which is, you know, tutorial videos, business education tips, it's not a make or break to have 4K footage. If I was a videographer or a travel vlogger, something that requires really high definition, then I would render the video in 4K. So here are some things to note when editing 4K footage. It does matter with what device you're editing on, meaning like your laptop or your desktop, if it can even handle it. So I remember when I used to, you know, edit GoPro footage that was 4K, and I had an older laptop, every time that I would import the footage into the media bin, Camtasia would just crash and my laptop would just crash. I have a Lenovo ThinkPad and it was one of the higher end models. So that's the first thing is you wanna make sure that you have a computer or desktop that can handle this kind of thing. So with mine, it's pretty smooth. I don't have any glitches or anything like that. I edit as normal as if I was doing a screencast recording like this, I edit the same way. And so now let me show you how to export 4K footage if you still wish to export in the 4K. So like I said, the first thing before you even start editing, you wanna make sure that you go to file, project settings, and you wanna set your canvas dimensions. Do this before you start editing because I'll show you right now. Let's say you edited the whole thing, right? This is in 1080p. If I all of a sudden was like, oh, I want this to be 4K now. I'm showing you guys as an example, I'm gonna click it. And you can change the frame rate here to 60 frames per second click apply and you'll see here that the 1080p is actually a lot smaller than the 4k and if you already edited your video you know i've got you know text stuff happening over here i have you know some screen share coming up here i would need to you know resize everything there's definitely room for error when doing that because there's all these different things here and it's just gonna make it a lot more difficult. So save yourself the trouble. If you want it in 4K, make sure you go to File, Project Settings, set it to 4K before you start editing. That will save you a lot of headache. So I'm just gonna show you with the last clip here, I'll just move this over here. You wanna make sure that your video is stretched out to the canvas size. Now this was filmed and shot in 4K, so that's why when I bring it to 4K, it's, it looks good, it looks clear. If you take something of lower resolution, if you take a zoom recording, anything like that, and you stretch it out, it's probably gonna look really bad and look really pixelated. So if you are rendering out in 4K, make sure it was shot in 4K. All right, so now we're ready to export in 4K. Click export. Go to local file. You want to make sure that this is set to custom production settings. So usually I would do the MP4 1080p, but for 4K, go to custom production settings, click next. I usually click MP4. And then from here, you just want to make sure everything's all good. So you want to go to the size and you want to make sure that it is set to 3840 by 2160 which is 4K. And then I change the frame rate to 60 and I leave everything else. 
click next. So I don't usually touch anything here, click next. You wanna name it, where do you want it to go? Choose your folder. I usually uncheck this and then you would click finish. Now, when you are rendering out a 4K video, just know that it is gonna take a lot longer than a 1080 because it's just gonna be bigger. And so that's why I decided not to do that because like I said, for our type of videos, it's not necessary. And most people are watching on their phones anyways. So I'm just gonna click cancel and that's how you would render out a 4K video. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna know how our YouTube channel makes over $15,000 a month by creating simple tutorials like this, head down to the description below and I'll have a really cool free training for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.